Horns Up Rocks. What's up, Horns Up Doors? This is George Shook down from Horns Up Rocks. What we experienced this past Friday at Dust Brooklyn was history in the making. It was the official Pantera Cowboys Metal 20 year anniversary release party, and it was everything you could expect. Lots of headbanging, lots of singing, lots of brotherhood, sisterhood, lots of drinking. You know, everything that you would expect happened, and we were able to talk to the fans about the impact of Cowboys from Hell, so check it out. What comes to your little crazy middlehead when I say Cowboys from Hell? We're taking over this town. <laughs> no, man, come on. One of the uh, all-time classic metal records, you know? It's uh, started off with Pantera and this snowballed after that. You know, the band got huge and it was just a, a big, big release for them. And I mean, 20 years, man. I can't believe it. 20 years. I remember buying that record, dude. You know, so that, it's kind of an honor for me to do this because this was one of my favorite records. Cowboys from Hell. You started listening to Pantera on Cowboys from Hell, or you already like familiar with like the power metal and the night records? I've been familiarized with them a little bit just from going to that club and hearing them played over the loudspeakers and all. And then of course when they tell me, oh gee, they're coming. Yeah. They took over the town. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> One of the best heavy metal records of all time. Oh man, that shit is like priceless. It's like you can't get better than that shit. You know, like when you listen to the Amination, that sounds like that sounds perfect, man. Perfect. Cowboys from Hell. When was the first time you heard Cowboys from Hell? It was Domination, my favorite song. They had the first heavy breakdown ever. The heaviest breakdown. Heaviest breakdown. I think that was the birth of breakdowns right there. So, every time I think of Cowboys from Hell, I think of Domination. That's my favorite song. Cowboys from Hell. Cemetery First Gaze. First Breakdown. You know, Cemetery First And honestly, break. it's cool for what it is. It's a great song, and there's it, it a lot to it. It's been in a couple of different movies. I know it was on the soundtrack for um, the HBO movie, for uh, the, the zombie movie. Thing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. It was in one of those great movies. from the crypt. That's it. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Cemetery Gates. Yes, Cemetery Gates. Tales yes. from the Crib. Yeah. Yes. There were two videos Demon. for Cemetery Gates. The original Night. Pantera video and then and the Tales from the Crib video. Yeah, Demon, Demon Night. Night. Yep, there we go. Oh, Billy Zane played yes. the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Billy Zane! <laughs> Billy Zane! That was like the most metal movie ever because it was, right off the it bat, was it was all about, you know, a guy walking around with Christ's blood and a little tambourine fighting off demons. Exactly. And, it was he, was like, and he was like a 2,000-year-old dude. <laughs> no, that, 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 that's another connection. Right? And the legacy that Cowboys from Hell, I mean, obviously, that was when Pantera put the stomp, when they put the pedal to the metal from that moment on, when they released Cowboys from Hell. I remember, as we all know, Adequate Records took a very big risk in signing them, and the reason why they signed them is because they saw a fire in a band that they hadn't seen in years. It's not, it's not only fire, it's, it's, they saw originality. That's what they had, man. Listen, there will never be another Pantera. Never. When you say Cowboys from Hell, holy shit, I say the most brutal goddamn fucking metal ever created. That's ever? It. Ever. Are we gonna ever. sign off for now? Cowboys from Hell. Stronger than North. Stronger than North. Uh, what's up, rocks?